So I had to show the flags in order to add friendly fire to it, but these are just basically generated flags from what the ladder ammo. We got K main only, interesting. Uh, I'm gonna take a look at them just so I can have some ease going through the seed, but I see standard no free, no dupes, hero. Interesting. Okay, Palum. We're gonna love you. T Pro max tier 6. Uh, S standard no life. E standard alt gauntlet. E toggle. Back row glitches on, and that's it. Oh boy. Random, no adamants, no cursed. Spoon. Oh, it's vanilla agility. Okay. And friendly fire. Great. So, C hero is not actually that bad. Plus, the friendly fire wacky actually makes Palum like one of the best characters in the game, because he learns all the healing spells. Okay, let's get this started. Let's see. There are definitely some situations I can imagine this getting to be somewhat rude in. But this seed seems like it's very nice. Why not just give me a bunch of... Black mages to start. Sure. Fire he is, is healing, so that's cool. I've got to remember all the ways the friendly fire wacky works. Okay, extra character. Will not complain. It is Sea Hero, so there's no point in knocking people down. The only person I don't necessarily want in my party is Cecil for agility. Because of vanilla agility. Check on the shop setting, I didn't bother doing that. Looks pretty standard to me. Didn't get a great starter kit, so I'm willing to go do some shopping here. I see we have Cell Quarter on. Fun.
Okay. Yeah, so the only changes are fire spells or healing. Uh, no healing spells will be learned. And a little fun change that I don't expect to come into play, which is that fire plot, fireplaces will heal the party. Hello! We have easy mode enabled. So uh, this seed is probably not going to be very useful for testing because this is now easy. Unfortunately, flame is a healing uh, spell that only heals enemies. So that's that's how useful flame is going to be. Not see Neki. Good. I'm gonna change row. Actually. Do this, stick you in the back there, you in the back there, we'll go ahead and learn this self-summon. Yeah, edge is not useful. Flame is not useful. Edge is still useful, but flame is flame is not useful for this like set. I feel like this seed has just given me like so many healers though that I don't really care. Like, having a Palom hero and Rydia is just ridiculous. <sighs> okay. No weapons for Edge yet, that's fine. I didn't put my random objectives into the tracker. I'm gonna go ahead and pause my timer so I can do that. I don't think anyone will mind if I just do that real quick. We are on a Pale Doom Hunt. Uh, we've got to complete Tower of Sot. Liberate Baron Castle. Complete Cave Magnus. Love to see that one. And Forge. There we go. I have objectives now. We may resume gameplay. So one boss hunt, otherwise we're just looking for quests. Ready? Really, Rydia? <laughs> Come on! <laughs> okay, game. <laughs> oh my gosh! Of course! Of course we learned Jin. I can't use that! That's just an enemy healing spell. Like, what the heck? Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. <laughs> okay, I, I guess I'll take Porum and High Demist. Uh, you're not that important. There was a freaky item in this flag set. This is going to be mostly edge does damage. We have no abilities. There we go. Okay, Palom has learned how to heal us better. Good. I still can't use healing spells outside of battle. That's fine. With Porum here, I'm actually going to skip over Antlion. Porum here and the fact that we got Edge. Yeah, we don't need Antlion. 
I want three people in the back row, but I also want Edge, and I think Edge is slightly... Edge Anchor is more important than having three people in the back row. Just slightly. Let's check Mist Cave for Pale Doom. It can't be anything less than Rec 3, but it's never a bad idea to just check. No, no, I don't think I'll fight Mom Bomb. See, it... Like, I had the flag spoiled for me, but I also didn't read them. So, it's basically like it's a mystery seed. I just ha I just spoiled, like, half of the flags for myself. It's fine. All I need to know is friendly fire. That's what we're here for. Why? I don't know. Why I'm saving for the other save. Okay, so quiet. Three. Eigen. I don't have great AoEs. It's fine. Now. Don't explode on Talon. It's fine. They only do 34 damage. It's fine. We're fine. I also have Sylph on Rydia, so Rydia can do things, although you don't have the Sylph Butch active, so... Well, uh, this could... Backfire. Oh my g Mindy! <laughs> Mindy! <laughs> so rude. So rude of Mindy to just not do damage. To just heal Cindy. Like, ugh. How could you do that to me? And now we're gonna have this. I like Mindy gone. Mindy is gone. Good. Player's not good. Uh, goodbye, Rydia. I think Porum still has a life. Yeah, she still knows life one. Or she can die. I don't have life potions. So, uh, Porum is just dead for the rest of this fight. That's fine. No experience here anyway. We get Edward, who is probably not going to stay. And an objective! Good! I can go do that. Probably right now. I mean, I'd like to wait till I get exit, but... I like seeing objectives early. Indeed he did. I wish I could back row glitch edge. 
I just wish Edger's back row glitched so I didn't have to worry about him. I also would like a weapon for him, but it's T-Pro, and so I don't know that we're going to get something. I should check, like, a trap chest or two. Okay. Here you go, Rydia. Enjoy that. But Sylph Rydia is more useful than Palin for now. Even though Palin is the hero. Okay, that can be for Palin. And we'll give you the Gaia shirt just for the sake of giving you the Gaia shirt. Uh, Edge, do you have better gauntlets to wear? You do. You can at least protect him a little bit. Oh no. I don't even know who was a Baron one. Nope, that doesn't work. Try again. <laughs> I love having garbage AoEs. Because all my AoEs are fire elemental. Who thought that was a good idea? <laughs> it makes for, it makes things interesting, definitely. Just not being able to use Jin or Flare. Or flame. Can we please use Palum stat for once? Delete that one. Okay. Oh, I could have had Edward anchor for me. Meh. We'll have a different anchor, it's fine. My brain is in C Palum hero mode and forgetting that vanilla agility is a thing that is on. In this seed. But I do actually need to think somewhat about anchoring. Hi Borg. Okay, that's a decent flare. Thanks, Edward. You're helping! Okay, Bahamut down, Kaipo guards are down. Who was at Baron 1? Who even was that boss? Do not know. Uh. Bygen was at Baron 1. Yep, gotta leave everyone behind, and do it with just Palin. 
It's okay, Palum, I believe in you. You've got Ice 2 and Wit 2 and Fire 2. Just don't be paled in here. That would be really obnoxious. But Palum can heal himself. Oh, how exciting. A package. Oh. Okay. This is the best boss on Friendly Fire. So, like, I could kill them here, but, like... I guess I'll start working on them. Look! All they do is heal you a little bit and then run away. So easy. <laughs> they just heal you! Look at that! I'm killing them because it's faster. Palum can two-shot King Eblin. And then Queen Eblin leaves. And it's faster than waiting for three. Or for three fire twos. Okay, Cecil's been upgraded, Tell has been upgraded. That was Palum's super scary sea hero fight. Literally, you cannot lose. I love that it makes the King Queen Eblin fight even easier than it already is. Like. Oh my gosh. Friendly Fire is fun. Well, yeah, I could do that, <laughs> but that would be dumb. That'd be really dumb. Okay. We're done with that. How much experience is Porum? Porum is like so close to exit. She's gonna get exit from Cave Magnus. Let's do Cave Magnus. Make sure everyone is magnetized. Which, not everyone is magnetized. Uh, someone needs an iron ring back. That would be Porum. Edward, do I have a, a knife that you can hold? No. Edward, why are you terrible? Hold, please. Troya Town, you've got to be selling something magnetic that Edward can use. Not in that shop. Anything. No! Okay, we are going in with Edward unmagnetized. It's fine. Edward doesn't get to be magnetized. Worm should have Berserk at this point, right? You've got Pepper. Yeah, you can go Burr. I would check package character, but I don't honestly care that much about package character with vanilla agility. It's like, yeah, I already kind of have all the good characters. I'm sorry. For T Pro, like, we're, we're doing real well with this party. Especially since it's no dupes. Like, I can't get an, I can't get another black mage. Unless it's Fu. Like, Fu might be worth it, but I don't even know if Fu is worth sitting through package. I do have to keep in mind that it's no cursed, so there's no cursed rings available anywhere. No adamants is on as well, so no adamant armors in this seed. Hi. Is this gonna heal me because of the fire too? Amazing. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh my gosh. So I did not even think about that. Dark Elf heals you.
FF3, if I'm not mistaken. Like actual FF3, not FF6. Is it FF2? Maybe it's a. Oh, it's FF1? Wow. I'm off. We're both wrong. Final Fantasy 1. Is this even? Orem, why did you take. Horum dodged the fire too, and so she took damage. Horum, you moron. Don't dodge things. Okay, you can dodge the weak, that's okay. You are allowed to dodge weak. I'm upset about the split experience because I'm not sure we get exit off of this fight. Now. Thanks, Edge. Okay, we still get exit. Yay, poor I'm learned exit. In time for me to exit out of here. Is this even randomized? Also, that's another objective. So heart looking extremely required this seed. I, I think something tells me that the harp is required. I swear this isn't a K vanilla seed. We're gonna do Zot because I'm right here and I have there are people I would like to ditch. Uh cough cough Edward. I'll hit up the treasury just to see. I think it's T Pro Max tier 6. That is a tier 6. Okay. Edge is good. We get it, Edge is good now. We have unlocked the power of actually good Edge. Don't even need those middle swords. Heck those middle swords. Congratulations Edge, you've become good. I forgot about the most important thing in there. Edge is good. That's basically what that treasury was. It's like, here's here's all the gear you need for Edge for the entire seed. Uh, go enjoy. And I'm like, great, okay, I guess we're using Edge. I do love how valuable Rydia becomes on Friendly Fire, I will say. Rydia, beca Rydia just becomes so valuable for healing. Palum to some extent as well. But Fire 3 is not as good as a heal spell as uh, Asura. In my opinion. It's just a sl it's too slow a cast time. Although it's nice and reliable. Which Asura is not. But there's like decent options for healing at least. 
with the with the black mages, which is interesting. Puts a little less like your white mages are essentially there for Zerk and Blink, which are still very useful spells, but it give, it takes away a little bit of their power. Because you can't just cure four your way through Zeromus anymore. Okay, Leviathan. Edward, why are you even here? Just virus pound. That's a pretty strong virus at this point in the game. I'm so glad we have Sylph. Sylph is so good. Goodbye, Leviathan. Shh. He's gonna get to sell so many things. Uh, this spot I actually kind of want to sell anchor, but it's fine. Oh, perfect. You. You're actually kind of just useful. You know, since it's T-Pro, and I have some leftover strength gear, you're actually kind of just useful as a party member. I want to keep Purim. I also very much like Fu. Why? Why game? Why do you give me the hard decisions? I can't ditch Edge now because Edge is actually good. Palum is my hero. Rydia has Sylph. So she's still useful. Do I get rid of Rydia? I think I get rid of Rydia. For Fu. I mean, obviously Edward is gone. And I think I ditch Rydia. We're gonna give her Rod to you. I'm going to put you in the front row as well. Yeah, you're fine. Well, no, white magic isn't that useful. So we're going to go with a uh, change rod for you. I have stuff for young. It's fine. See, I have equipment. Young will be great. Rydia helped. Look, Rydia helped, but Fu is, Fu is better, and I have a cat claw for Young. Oh. Time to do what you should normally never do. <laughs> Welcome to the easiest fight. <laughs> the easiest fight. Ruby, this is not very effective. <laughs> I'm gonna berserk Young just for the fun of it. Here we go! Glare! Oh no! 7,000 points of healing! Thank you, Ruby! You have a lot of black magic. Dang it, that's gonna heal. Oh well, maybe he dies first.
I appreciate that Ruby wanted to heal Edge so much. He really just cares about Edge, you know? Gotta make sure Edge stays alive. <laughs> Friendly Fire is fun. And also, so far, it seems pretty raceable. And I haven't even had to use fire spells to heal. I think the tricky part is uh, Zoromas, honestly, with friendly fire. That's like the trickiest part. That Okopogo might be tricky still. Like, there's a few bosses that are still DKC with a bad in a bad spot could be bad. But there's still cure potions usually. Uh, I think it'll probably be fine. Uh, there's a Legend Sword and a second objective. So uh, that's three objectives now gated by the Twin Harp. Just to give you a sense of the kind of seeds I roll. I just rolled a triple required Twin Harp. Team Fade Harp would hate this seed. Because they'd probably just, like, do Antlion Cave, find underground access, and then be like, I'm not doing Twin Heart before I go underground, and then be like, why can't I find the Earth Crystal anywhere, or this half of Forge? And I'd be like, haha, it was all behind the Twin Harp all along. Just don't fade the Twin Harp! Oh, hi, Ogo. Bye, Ogo. That Ogo could have been a lot ruder. <laughs> we can get underground now. Let's do that. Yeah, I was like... Of course Ogo shows up at a spot that's really easy. Yeah, that's a cure spell that got deleted. Since I'm here, I'm going to check this. Just to make sure it's not Pale Doom. Oh! Okay. Well then. I, I guess that solves that. <laughs> we are Baron Key and Adamant away from go mode now. Because I bought a pass. I'm going to loot this cave because I can. The scary thing is this might be pushing me towards Foo and Friends, or I would say it would be if it wasn't, like, K-Main only. Let's get underground. Uh, I have still not done Fabul Defense, but I don't care about Fabul Defense. Heck, Fabul Defense. Why would I do Fabul Defense when I could do the Underground? I've got a whole Dwarf Castle, Fey March freebie, and sh- Okay. Okay, we're back. I don't know what just happened, but... I suddenly dropped all the frames. But I think we're back. 
think we're back. Hopefully. Okay, we are back. Hi, Asura. Uh, you're gonna be kind of annoying, actually. You know what? I don't feel like dealing with this spot. Why not? Oh, good. Please don't be wyvern. That'd be kind of annoying. We don't get this edge. That's a fake edge. Rydia learned all the good summons. Naturally, Rydia learns every good summon. I'm pretty sure I saw Leviathan on that list, which is ridiculous. Oh no. Not Virus. There's Nuke. I do need to start checking underground shops as well, or... Those things. Or sirens, mostly. Sirens would be nice. We can probably certainly hit 10 key items. Oh, hey, look, there's Forge! I believe that should be a supersmith weapon for Palin. Gosh dang it, underground shops. I'm just trying to grind here. I mean, I can D-Machine. I don't want to D-Machine. But if I find a Darkness Crystal, I can D-Machine, I guess. And I guess it wouldn't be terrible with 10 key items. Maybe I should have left Yang down. Meh. Yeah. It's fine. Take my Adam and take my Legend Sword. Make something out of them. Make me a stick. Or a knife. Also make me... <laughs> that would be funny. We get a knife. Uh, this is good. I'll give that to Palin. Palum gets a knife. Who gets a better stick? A4 to be fun. Also, that would mean that, like, Harp is just required for everything but Pale Demon. I'd kind of love that. Okay. We yeah, have forged.
Artillery and Missile Officer, thank you, Jobdorf. That does make sense, Dwar the dwarves do have tanks. What happened to all the tier fives? Where did they go? I'm getting concerned. What happened to the tier five items in shops? I know this is as standard because I saw things like Odin on the overworld. That's two now that are gone. I only have access to one more shop for sirens. Otherwise, we don't get sirens. And that would be sad. Well, I can always cry steal. I suppose I can always steal them. I just don't want to steal them because that take that's slow. Is this even randomized? Can't do anything with that. Uh, I don't even know how useful Bacchus are. Pick up a couple more, but I've got like five. That's plenty. For this party, I think that's plenty. Given that Porum is essentially a Zerk bot. I don't need to do anything else here. Uh, I do not care who the Fame Arch bosses are, it's K-Main only. It does not matter. I do not need to do Fame Arch bosses. Oh, I meant to do Sealed Cave. Right, I accidentally skipped Sealed Cave. We're gonna do Sealed Cave. I meant to do it before Fame March, but I forgot. I should probably not have an edge anchor here. Alum is the slowest person in my party, so he goes in the middle. Yeah, I mean, just just being smart, Edge is probably not the best anchor for Sealed Cave. I think I'm going to plan to steal Sirens with Edge. Shouldn't need more than 10. Probably 9 is good. At this point. Yeah, I think 9 would be good. Mm, 10 is probably better. Safer. Since I don't have to do any of that. Maybe even more for Nuke on Palin. I'm trying to think. 900,000 total. I get 700,000 experience roughly from 10. That leaves 200,000 that I need to make up. We've already got... 100,000 of that. But, yeah, I should probably get 12. I'm gonna steal, just to make sure we get all the way up to nuke. Assuming I'm grinding with 10 key items, which I should because it's K-Main only, there's no reason not to. This is the sealed cave is the biggest potential roadblock. Hey! I'm glad I did sealed cave! That seems important. You know, just slightly. Slightly important. This is fine. We've got tons of health. I'm just gonna use a life spell to get... That's not who I wanted to cast life on. I don't have a life pot. I don't have any life pots, so Porum is not gonna get this experience, but that's okay. And then we'll grind. And go. And maybe ditch... Do I want to go reflect, or do I want to go... 
Well, that's convenient. Convenient routing is convenient. <sighs> I guess I just steal sirens and go. Yeah, I think I just steal sirens. Uh... We're at 9 key items, we'll be at 10 after doing Baron. So, I'm gonna do Baron. Oh no, we are at 10, I have the rat tail. Right, we're at 10. We steal and go. What do I want to do about my party? Because this party is kinda zerky, kind of... It's an, it's an odd hybrid party. That I'm not the biggest fan of. Probably get away without Porin if I wanted to ditch someone in Baron. I might do that actually. I might ditch Porin. Because we should we have enough Bacchus wines that I shouldn't need Bacchus. Yeah, let's just steal some sirens, grind up and go. What an interesting seed. Perfect. I don't have Cry. I don't have Jabilities. That might be an issue. Second Porum, not even useful for this. Okay, Sirens are stealable. Hooray. Two, we're looking for 12, I think, for Palin. Edge, please. Oh, I need to stop it. Let's reduce those messages. Four, I think. Yep, four. Five. Six. Seven. One more. Twelve. Okay. Could be done now.
Goodbye alert. We'll see what the chest gives me. Not that I care particularly much. Whatever. <clears throat> we are... We have a grind now. Let's go crack some eggs. Very good. More levels for you. Hey, okay, Palin, keep getting better levels. Still don't trust Edge. That was about 150 health shy. Let's see after this egg. Two more levels, okay. Mitch, there's three for Palin and Porum. And Yon. Can Edge and Yong team up to do this together? Or are they both bad? No. <laughs> Yong is at least competent enough to team up with Edge. Okay. That's fine. I mean, poor I'm learning white would be nice, but I don't think we're gonna quite get there. We'll see. We might get there. Edge. One shotting eggs with Edge is just not a thing that ever happens. Get the levels, please. Vote for Porum. I feel like the... I just want to make sure Edge has Mura, Mura Long equipped. I think he does, but... You have Mura short? That's why you're bad. Edge! Ugh, I can't believe it. That's my bad. For having a short sword equipped at this point in the game. There we go. Turns out the long sword is better than a short sword. Who knew? I really hope I stole enough sirens. I should have. Yeah, there's Fatal for Palum. Just a few more levels for Palum. And then we'll be tearing through Baron Castle. Weak. On Palum. Only four levels left. And we've got four sirens, so we should be good. Okay, Edge, you still managed to kill, just barely, but it worked. So yeah, so far, Friendly Fire doesn't feel like it's affected that much, but this seed is different. Edge, come on. We need to do 18 damage.
Miss Medio. This seed was actually fairly generous. All things considered. Yeah, I think I ditched for him for an anchor. After this grind. I've got plenty of Bacchus wines for Edge and Young. And we've got healers in the form of Palom and Fu. So, this should be Nuke, right? Yeah, there's Nuke. Forum's not at white yet. Yeah, we ditch her. Sorry, Forum. Grind is done. as well do that. Let's liberate Baron and then go to Roya to finish the seed. I love go mode without moon access. It's fun. I am hoping this is, uh, well, there's Dwarf Axes for sale in Roya, so if this is Seder Kane or Cecil, it's absolutely fine. I can use them to anchor. Rosa low enough, at base level is low enough to anchor same with Tella. So yeah, I can use any character here as long as it's not a dupe. Literally any character here, any non-dupe character can anchor. Because dwarf, I know where dwarf axes are, and they're very convenient. Hi elements. Oh, hey, poor I'm wearing white. <laughs> wow. She just needed that fight. And now she knows how to cast Holy. Uh, still not good enough if I can get an anchor. If this is a dupe, though, I'll keep Porum. Since, you know, she can at least contribute now. Hey, she was useful earlier when I didn't have... Uh, when I didn't have a plan to just use Bacchus Wines. You know, she cast Berserk a few times. Uh, that was Odin, by the way. The the real King of Baron was... The fake King of Baron was actually the real King of Baron all along. Hi, Kane. Uh, you're gonna be my anchor. How does that sound, Kane? I've got a drain spear. You can you can equip it and then have one agility. It'll be great. What's this key item? Let's see. Yeah, I'm not running that. No way. Whatever, we're done. Seed is over. Let's go beat up Zoromis. So this feels very raceable. So far. Although this seed was already kind of a jet. You know, I'm not going to take this too much into account, account because it's very jet. This was very jetty. 
yeah, I think we want Edge going first, then Palum. Mm, no, we want Palum to throw the Veil up, then Edge to Bacchus. I'm overthinking this. There you go, Kane. Who throws the Silk Web? Young Bacchuses. Who can Reserk people if needed, but I don't think I'll really need it. We've got nukes, we've got fire 3 to heal in case we needed it, that. I have a few cure 2 potions just in case. It's time to ask the question of whose butt are we going to be kicking at the end of this first test seed? I have a second test seed, so we came prepared. I was honestly expecting these seeds to go longer, so we're going to see if the second seed is longer, or if I'm just good at rolling jets. Still, I feel real good about my decision to, like, completely ignore Fabul defense. They, they don't need defense. They're fine. Anyway, I guess who's but... Again... The flags denied me curse strings, but uh, I've got something just as good as a curse string. A drain spear. Oh, also, I get to. Uh, <gasps> Kane can be useful in this fight. I have a white spear in my inventory. Y'all know what that means. I mean, I did have a Soma drop in my inventory too, I could have done that, but... Oh, nice nuke targeting, Arsenal Miss. Thank you for that. I don't think Kane's gonna get a turn. Oh, he does. Okay. It's time! Go Palin. Go Kane. Go, mostly go Edge and Young. Go Kane. <laughs> He's helping. Good night, Kane. I do need to probably heal before the second Big Bang. And with the... I'm gonna need to toss a Cure 2 to Palom and toss out a Fire 3 across the board. But we'll do that with Fu's turn. Probably enough health on Palom. Yeah, Palom doesn't really have any gear. And then might not be enough health on Palom. We're gonna go with it's enough health on Palom. This is the slight danger, is I have to cast Fire 3 now to heal up. Who can go for another nuke? I do have an Aether 2, so I'm not that scared of running out of MP. And I still have Zerkers. There's our heal. That should keep everyone else alive. It does have a quite a long animation. Do up some more nukes. 
We're gonna hope 1500 HP is enough on Palom. Do damage. Palom, don't die. It would be kind of inconvenient. Not the most inconvenient, but kind of inconvenient. Palom is very dead. Okay. We'll life one him, get some fire threes going. Oh! Okay, well, we're fine. We're fine, we're at rocks anyway. I never got life pots this seed, actually, which is why uh, that was interesting. Okay, there we go, done. <laughs> we survived. We made it! Thanks for the GG's, Escron. Ugh, okay. This was a seed. It wasn't bad, honestly. I think Friendly Fire is just fine from this seed. I think I want to do more. I need to see how it interacts with, you know, parties where you don't necessarily have a Palom the whole time. Like, it's an extra consideration. Like, you really do want a Black Mage in your Z fight. Even if you have Zerkers. But I think it gets interesting on... It might get really, really interesting on... Like, s and Seeds. If that happens to roll. That's what I'd be most curious about. Look at top of tower behind more vanilla. It's Dr. Luge. Look at that. I put more vanilla in the seed. Isn't that fun? Water hag at super cannon with darkness crystal. Really? Wow. That darkness crystal is buried. I don't even know where the tower key was. Okay, tower key was on Sheila. Cool. Why would I go there? There was no reason to do go to Fabul. This is a silly place.
So all you had to do in this seed was find Pale Doom at Waterfall, Antlion for the Magma Key, uh, Harp into Zot, uh, well, Baron in to, twin, to Harp to Zot for the Wet and Sword, Dwarf Castle for the Adamant, and then Sealed Cave from the starting item to get the Baron Key, and then do Baron. I did not need it. The only extra check I did, the only extra checks I did were Ordeals and uh, Bedward. And I'm okay with that. I think those are fair extra checks to do. Didn't need to do any of the other checks. Oh, and I guess I didn't need to grab the freebie in the Fame Arch, but like, it's the freebie in the Fame Arch. And it got me to a 10th key item before I left the underground, which was nice. That's, that was the seed. I'm gonna put on the, the music again real quick and then we're gonna load up my other seed that I rolled. And I will probably call it a day because it'll probably be, well, it might be Hero's Journey time. I don't know. Maybe the other seed will be a jet. <laughs> 